I think I've learned so much about basic human psychology from all of this. Because I've had to grapple with it just in my own organization. Like, how can you recognize these teachings for what they are, yet be so blind as to what is happening in the world? And what they are, they are the order followers. Right, exactly. Well, here's They're the- not thinking really critically. They're just like the order followers. They, they, well, have, they, they, they have these teachings uh, think for them without actually understanding what the teachings really mean. They're not understanding, they're not understanding the, the core principles behind these teachings. My question to you is, you know, regarding these people in your organization, don't they? Isn't the whole idea if they're so? Why isn't anybody saying to them if they're so afraid of this so-called deadly virus? Why are they not? Why and and it's so towards self-development and you know uh, you know no and, it's more for uh, service not self so much self-development. But anyway, regardless, if it's for service and the whole idea is the understanding that this life is is really transitory, why are they so afraid? Well, because they feel <laughs> they feel go. that they're protecting the work. They're afraid that if they die or, you know, if important people die, who's going to do this work? That's really their excuse for it. They're protecting the work. Okay. Uh and uh, so it, it's just such an ingrained mess. It, there's there's no, I mean, and the egos are just, the arrogance in the egos are just over the top because they feel like, well, you know, I was with the master and who are you and what do you know? It's, it's really bad, Jim. It's as bad as it gets. And I don't give a shit if they hear this every word I say, I'll say it to their face. And if they could throw me out, if they think they have the karma to spare, that's what I say to people. If you think you have the karma to spare, throw me out. Because I think they're they're starting to put more and more nails in their own coffin. And I I think they've already, I I think they've they've already sealed their fate uh, in as much as they'll never be in this position again. I, I think they've had their lot as far as you know running this organization in the future i'm talking about future lives yeah sure and uh because they've made such a horrific showing of this the guy in england who runs that jurisdiction was coercing the close workers the the key workers to take the freaking shot and that was the, the reason was he felt he was protecting the work. That's how deluded and misguided these people are. I mean, yet they can rattle off the teachings. They could rattle off, you know, Eastern philosophy. They're really learned, but it, it's, it's a bizarre situation. It doesn't seem like they're really understanding it, how it absolutely applies to day to day life. And they never, they never, um, they never uh, trusted the government. They, they, I've heard them say it on record. We know we can't trust the government. And now they're trusting the government. It's just bizarre because they're so indoctrinated. Here's the thing. They've become so indoctrinated in this Rockefeller medicine. They ac- absolutely believe it. They believe in They've been indoctrinated with this whole satanic uh, uh, mind fuck is what it is. It's well, just unbelievable. And you can't reason with them. You can't talk to them. The egos are so massive. Well, it's so like, I say, knock yourself out. Get 10, 15. I, got on, I was on my knees begging and pleading with them, you know, two years ago, a year and a half ago. Don't take this shot, whatever you do. They're just kind of laughing at us because nothing horrific has kind of fallen upon them yet. They're right. kind of laughing at the, the conspiracy theorists. You know, that's why they want me to shut up, because they just think this is lunacy. The things that we're discussing here. 